Hi, it's Joe Hackman with Joe's Gone Social.com and ManageSolutions.com, also Hackman J on Twitter. And I am going to show you how to make your own URL shortener uh, using URLs. So the reason I'm doing this is actually um, because I posted something about creating my own URL shortener, and I knew that I wanted to do more about it, but um, I basically got feedback from the comments that people really wanted to see detailed information on how to do it. So I'm going to show you the relatively simple steps. Um, I'll include some prerequisite information on the uh, website on joesgonesocial.com. There should be a link in the description of this uh, YouTube video. So if you're viewing it anywhere else, just double click it. Uh, that'll click you through to my channel and you can see the description uh, link to the blog where you can find out more. And I'll uh, address some of those prerequisites there. So basically for starters, the first thing that you do is you actually pick a, a domain. So yesterday I actually registered some really short domains. Um, the one that I'm going to work with today is called 0b0 and 0b0.us. Uh, so I'm going to go, the first step you go to urls.org and basically on this site uh, is where you can download the, the system. So you're, what you're going to do is you're going to download the latest version. It's currently 1.5, and you're going to save it somewhere on your file system where you can remember where to go to it and unzip it there. After you do that, according to their uh, instructions, you copy the um, config sample to config PHP. I'm going to actually walk you through a little bit of a different way. I felt like that was a little redundant. So um, I'm going to show you how to work around that. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So step one is I'm, we're going to create our database. So basically you're going to go in wherever your SQL databases are managed on your server. You're going to go in there and you're going to actually create a new database. In this case, we're just going to call it test URLs. So we're going to go ahead and create that. Once you've created the database, however you do that on your system, you then need to create a username. So we're going to use testing12345 as the username. Okay, once that's created, then in the user area of, of wherever that is, or via the com command line, uh, you need to give that user rights to the database. So let's scroll this up a bit so you can see more of this. So first thing you do is you pick the username that you created which is testing in this case and then you create and then you actually choose the database and you want to give that user full permissions to the database so now that we've given them permissions to that database the next step is going to be to go and edit that config file that they were talking about so basically what you need to do at this point is locate the includes folder I'll show you where what this looks like so basically here's the unzip folder you're gonna go into the includes and what I do is I just actually edit the sample file with notepad and then I save it as config so if you want to copy it uh, create a copy and name it uh, just config.php that's fine so our uh, URLs DB user we can actually go back to the database to see that name so let's do that. Okay. So our user was testing, right? You can actually just, for accuracy reasons, you can actually just copy and paste this as the DB user because you need to use that full with the uh, thing there, the prefix. Okay. So we're giving our super high tech password of one two three four five we call the database you can actually again go back and look at your databases and locate the one i think i went the wrong direction yep these are before all these wordpress ones so yeah test urls so basically let's go ahead and copy that use control C on your keyboard on a Windows machine paste that there and localhost you would want to keep the same in most cases this needs to be changed to this that's the database prefix there ok 
Okay. Uh, the next thing we want to do is you want to type in the domain name. So in our case, in this case, it's 0b0.us. Nice short name. Uh, you will want to definitely create usernames and passwords. Uh, those usernames and passwords go right here. Another sort of concern is if you want to make your service private, which I would rec highly recommend, uh, so people don't make malicious URLs with your system, you would want that to be true as well. So I'm going to just keep the username password in here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Um, so what I'm going to do is save as, and then I'm going to change, because this is a notepad, I have to change it to old files or it wants to save it as a text file. So I'm going to change it to config.php. So now that is saved. And now we would basically go to our FTP client and log into the uh, domain with the FTP client. And I've done that. So I'm going to go into my URLs. 1.5 folder. This is basically all of the content, everything that I need to upload. So now I'm going to go ahead and upload that on the uh, FTP server. And while that's going, I'll show you the next step that we're going to need. Um, we'll go ahead and craft the, uh, the link for that. So the next thing that we're going to need is to run the uh, actual configuration, which they're not really, they're actually not listing it here. But I know that it's in the um, I know that it's in the files. But basically, it's just admin slash install.php on that particular website. So let's go ahead and open up a new window. We'll have this queued up once that FTP uploads done. So this is 0b0.us slash admin slash install.php. So basically, you're going to want to wait till the FTP transfer is done. And you're you're going to want to make sure that your um, that you're using the actual folder path that's on the domain that you chose. You could actually be using a subdirectory if, for example, it's your own blog or something like that. It might just be slash urls something like that. I like it nice and short, so I'd rather use a non-specific. Uh, so basically, my FTP client's telling me it's done. So let's run the install. And with any luck, if we did everything right and our web server is properly configured, this will be created. So now we just go into the URLs uh, information page. So it's basically the username. And the password was password. So we'll log in there. And then there's a couple OZH links that are created by default. And I'm cool with that. No worries there. So let's go ahead and. Um, add a uh, let's add our first uh, link just to make sure this works so let's copy that URL paste it in there and let's call this uh, let's give it a custom name Joe's URLs article and so we'll go ahead and shorten that so now we have our shortened link customized we can copy that and we can also just kind of click through here and it'll bring us to that that article so it worked and then if we go back to our URLs interface at 0b0.us slash admin you'll see that there's one click through on that so we know that it was a success so that's pretty much it that is how you create your own URL custom uh, uh, custom URL shortening service and uh, basically I'm going to do another video or two on this subject I might do kind of a precursor video just to kind of show some of the other um, parameters downloading the FTP client configuring it things like that if there's a demand for it but I'm definitely going to do one that kind of shows a, um, a walkthrough of the system hope you found this useful if you want to get more information you can go to joesgonsocial.com or you can also check out my uh, business website, which is managedsolutions.com. And I'm Hackman J on Twitter. Joe's Gone Social on YouTube. I think that's about enough. You guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.